Hello everybody and welcome back to Shamrock Valley. So the cows are very happy. It's summertime. In fact, the sheep are happy too. So they have all the feed they require. Everything is going very well. Uh, I think really what we need to look at is harvesting some fields. It might be in the next day or so, but very soon it's going to happen. The harvest of, I think, three fields. There's not a massive amount, um, but we do also have the grass fields to deal with as well. Uh, I did actually say I was going to use the uh, the forage harvester, which I think is going to be a very good idea. It's a sort of final opportunity, for this map at least, uh, because we're not going to be doing much more grass after today. It's going to be taken up with the harvest. Yes, yeah, so what I've done is I've just basically leased a forage harvester, a very nice class forage harvester, and I have also purchased outright a trailer. It's actually a Bailey trailer, which is about, I think it's about 45,000 litres in capacity. So I'm going to attach this tractor to the trailer. We're going to obviously take the forager over to an appropriate field, hopefully quite a big field. In fact, I would say a good one to go to is the one which is quite a long way from here. There may be a silage pit which we can take the grass to over at our other farm, which is not too far away from field number 33. Uh, I think 33 is a good field to do. So yeah, let me just sort things out here. We do have to go for the uh, Capello header because obviously the header which is standard with the uh, the class Jaguar just there is for maize so we couldn't obviously use that for grass I had to go with a header which can actually cut grass and pick it up so yeah that's the one the Capello Spartan I think it is 610 I think it says right that looks like it's off ETS 2 or ETS 1 not sure but anyway they're decent looking models if I just reverse back here I'll just turn around and sort stuff out. I've also bought this Crone header trailer. Hopefully this is going to fit on. Uh, it probably would have fit down the road, but it's just not exactly convenient taking it on the front of the forager. Yeah, it looks a bit too far over one side, but it might work. All we'll do is attach it onto there and give it a go. Hopefully it works. We'll soon find out. Uh, if we can make the corner all right, if we can turn around here without it tipping off, it should stay on for the whole journey. Of course, it may just flip off. Ah, the molasses. It's in the way. Good. Yeah, it seems to work alright. So I'm going to drive very carefully. It might be that we have to drive the forager in front of the tractor. Uh, yeah, because it's rear wheel steer and that can mess up a bit when using follow me. Although, that has done a very good job. So we'll see how we go, see how far we can get before there is an accident. Hopefully we can get all the way to the field. So far so good, although the road does narrow in a minute or two. In fact, yeah, we have to go down this very narrow country lane just here. This will be a good test for it. Let's hope we make it in one piece. Yep, that is country lane number one done. Number two. Ah. I think number two is not going to happen. Luckily, we have a large expanse of land here to put it back on. I've also used the opportunity to swap over and I've put the forager at the front so that I can drive it and it's not all messing up. So, yeah, that's the forager over there. The second one back. Um, yeah, I still need to drive very carefully through here. Uh, and then, yeah, we need to just establish where to take the chaff to. It probably should go to the farm not too far away from here. Then again, we do have a fairly fast tractor, so either farm really. We have already started a silage pit over at our main farm, so it would make sense to do it there, but then, yeah, it's just the carting. That will take a while. I'm sure I stopped that. There we go. So, yeah, as you can see, I don't want to drive on here too much because it is destroying the grass. Once we've taken the headland off, it'll be fine. I wonder if I can get away with just driving alongside it and clearing the entire gate area. Hmm, that's not working. The pipe needs to rotate. Not, not close enough at the moment. There we go, that's it. Right. Still not close enough. Okay, fair enough. But it does work if you go alongside. That's kind of annoying. Um... Hmm. 
It would mean destroying the outer headland. Or I could try this. Hopefully this is going to work. Again, it's just... It's just too far. Yeah, it needs to be more alongside. It's working. Right, so I did try a number of different things here. From putting it right up against the side of the forager at the back. And also putting it in front a bit, but it just didn't want to happen. Uh, this is the only position I could get it into for it to actually work. So, for the first headland, it is destroying some of the grass. As you can see, it's actually not taking it all off. It's just crushing it a bit. It's not the same as cutting it. Uh, it's not ideal, but yeah, it's not the end of the world either. For some reason, the trailer doesn't load from the front. It could be the trailer at fault, it could be the forager, or it could just be a combination of the two. It could be that you have to use a uh, base game machine. I don't know. But it's not going to be a problem. We can get away with it, we can keep going. And we should be able to get quite a bit of grass off here for the silage. It's going to go into the silage pit. So yeah, we'll continue. Load number one, here it comes. So there we have it, it's now working really well. It's about, what is it, 93% full. Uh, so we're about to go over to the farm to unload. I have decided that because of the rate it's filling up at, I'm going to take it over to the main farm. It is quite a long way from here, but that tractor is pretty fast. I think it's a 50k gearbox, so it should be uh, pretty nippy really. And I don't mean cold, I mean fast. Right, here we go. Uh, Hang on, no, wait, that's the same machine. Into the case, right. Take it off, follow me. And I do need to set up course play over in the yard to do the compacting of the silage pit. So I'm going to probably get, uh, well, some machine going backwards and forwards over there. I'm just trying to think of the best one. I, it doesn't need to be absolutely massive. Anything will do, because at the rate we're going to be bringing this in at, there is plenty of time for it to compact, so probably just something like the Ford. It's not a super heavy tractor, but it will do nicely. So, yeah, at least, yeah, we'll have a good head start on the compacting of the silage pit, especially as we already have quite a bit of chaff in there, and if we don't start now, it's going to take a very long time to compact and then ferment. So, yeah, we have to get started. But that is a very good load. Just short of a uh, full load, 44,869 litres. Uh, for some reason, like most things, y you just can't seem to fill it to the top. Although, I suppose, yeah, if I really tried, it probably would have filled to 100%. I'm just wondering if we can see our field from up here. I thought it was that field there, but maybe it's the next one down. Hmm. Well, our field should be ready to harvest, I would have thought maybe in midsummer. Obviously it's going to take a while to grow but it should be earlier than normal because we, we put it in in a very early time. It was something like yeah the first day of spring so technically although it's not showing as ready uh, it might not be too far off. Let me just see here. I don't think it will be. Right, so we've got field 15. They are progressing quite nicely. Field 9 and 12 are even more ready. So it looks like in the next day or so, 9 and 12 will be ready to harvest. That should be all seed rape. Yep. And field 37, the final field, will probably be the end of summer. And here we are. Let's get this first load tipped. I think, yeah, before we do go back, I will uh, make sure it's all compacting. I can't remember if I turn the forager off, that's my only concern. It's not going to matter too much, it's just, yeah, it's <laughs> not something you tend to do. You don't tend to leave the forager going with nobody there at all. Okay, so, yeah, let me just grab a tractor for moving the uh, loading wagon. I, well, I suppose we could use the tractor which we're going to use for compacting. Just not the narrow tyre tractor. 
I think that would take some time to compact, although there would be a lot of pressure on the uh, the chaff underneath each wheel. Hmm, I seem to have lost my tractors. I suppose, yeah, we've got the fit. Oh, yeah, we've got the fit. We'll, we'll take the fit. It's got big chunky tyres. Could be really handy. So, yeah, we'll just pull it out of the way. I think the slurry tanker will be alright just there. Hopefully it is. It's just if it's in the way or not, I'm not too sure. Looking at the pit, it's not very neat. Hopefully it's not so steep that we have a problem with climbing it with this tractor. But as time progresses, it will get much smoother, much easier to uh, drive up and down. So, yeah, I think I've got... Uh, I've got a course plane stalled, but I don't think I've got it enabled on this save game. So I'm going to have to just pop out the game and, uh, yeah, enable it. Okay, so it's all set up on course play. It's all ready to go. And what I've done is I've made it reverse all the way back here so that when we bring a load in, we can just very quickly nip in. It should automatically stop and wait for us. So, yeah, that's why I've got it going way out there. Uh, but that all seems to be working really well. So I'll try and fill it up more evenly anyway, just to give it a hand. I don't want it to uh, become so steep that the tractor can't actually climb it, because that would cause some issues. Well, look, because I left the game and rejoined, it's gone really flat. It's like somebody's gone with a really big knife across the top and just scraped it. Nice. Right, so I can try out my theory of nipping in here. Yep, that should do nicely. It should wait for us, although you never know, it might just rampage through. Start the unload, it's not ideal. A bit too far in. There we go. That's good. Perfect. Okay, so we're ready to go back for the next load. And that tractor has got a lot of work to do. Goodbye, Fiat. I'd be interested in seeing how the other tractor is getting on, the Fiat tractor. Hopefully it is fairly compacted now because it is going over the same piece over and over again. It's not going to be that uniform across it, it's it's going to be really compacted in one section and then the rest is most likely going to be like a, well like a mountain, it's going to have lots of little hills in it I suppose. We'll soon find out, but yeah I've done it before like this and it does work, it definitely puts it to 100% compacted, but it just doesn't look perfect. Uh, far from it. But on the plus side, I've noticed this trailer has filled up to 100%, which is very good. So obviously somehow before I didn't manage to fill it to 100, uh, I suppose I wasn't close enough or whatever with the forager. Uh, that tractor is desperate, isn't it? Desperate to come back up here. Well, it's going to have to wait. That's another thing. This tractor is obviously compacting it too as we go. Oh, look at, look at that. He's gone and hit me. Right, you straighten up there. There we go. Good. Right, that, that's not too much of an issue. It should all work out, hopefully. Wait for this to go down. 
Looking good, looking very good. What is it, 36% compact? Yeah, I thought it might take a while to do this. Uh, also, the tractor isn't coming all the way up to here, Well, it would get stuck. So I only got it to go to here. So actually, it's spending probably 50% of the time off the, the clamp. But that is a good thing in a way, because it, it gives us the opportunity to uh, reverse in. Otherwise, it would be uh, a case of stopping it every time, which would be highly frustrating. So, off we go. Back over to the field. I would say there's only one more load, but we'll see. That's the good thing about this traction trailer. It's a big setup, so we can bring back quite a bit in one go. Okay, here we are. Yeah, before, when I came back to the field, I did go all the way around, but in the end it turned out to be a good thing, because there was not a great deal of space to actually manoeuvre this, and I would have most likely crushed some of the grass, and, well, would have ended up with less. I accidentally drove the wrong way, but in the end it just turned out to be the right thing. I love it when that happens. Yeah, so this should definitely fit in here, no issues at all. Probably about 50% of the trailer. 50 or 60%. Not too much. And yeah, from here we get that really good view. Over there. Across the water. It looks like Scotland. It's like a lock in Scotland. Love it. Right. Yep. Let's just finish off here. And then we'll just leave the other tractor to it. To compact the pit. And then eventually we'll ferment it as well. I am hoping to wrap up this series within this week. Um... That's the plan. I don't want to rush it too much. I know I have already rushed it quite a bit. But I don't want to have several FS17 series still going when 19 is released. Uh, which will be 20th of November. So, Letton Farm is definitely staying. So I'm going to be I'm going to be running the 17 series there. Beyond the 20th. Um, but this one is going to have to finish. And anyway, we've done a pretty good series here. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And we've done... Well, this is the second year of seasons. So we have done quite a bit. It is a lovely map, I would love to stay on here until episode 100, but unfortunately I just don't have the time to be able to produce the 19 videos when it's out and also the 17 videos. Especially as the, uh, the Letton Farm series takes a long time to make. Well that is 57% of the trailer, so yeah, it's going to be a bit more than what I said, but it would definitely still fit in. So maybe 75% should we go to? It's very good. I'm pleased that it is more than I said. It makes it worthwhile. Right. And the final piece just here. I suppose yeah, we do have the headland too, actually. I didn't realise. Yeah, well, yeah, what we'll do is we'll do the, uh, the outer headland for as much as we can do until the trailer is full. It might all fit in. If it doesn't, We'll leave it, but yeah, it's all extra. It probably will fit in because of the, the yield has been dramatically reduced as we've driven on it. Okay. So, yep, we'll just go over here. It's not even a full header's width, actually, so there isn't a great deal of grass here at all. Plus, it's outside the boundaries of being fertilised. So, yes, it's going to fit in. And there we go. We have finished. 87% full. I think that is a good finishing point. And yeah, obviously in the next episode we'll get the uh, the fear tractor going again. Still compacting it, but I'll make sure it's not going off the pit too much. Off the clamp, I should say. It stays actually on it and just keeps going backwards and forwards over the same section. Instead of giving us space to be able to uh, reverse in. 88%. Okay, right. Off we go, let's go and see how it's doing. See how much is compacted. We have almost 40,000 more litres for it. I'm sure it will really appreciate it. It's going to absolutely love this. It really does have its work cut out. Here goes. Hopefully the tractor is about to reverse off there so we can just keep going without stopping. That might be asking for quite a bit. Although the timing could be right. Ah, yeah, there it is, look. Just reversing off there now. Fantastic. I'll give you a helping hand. 
trailer will compact it slightly. Um, yes, yeah, so I should probably aim for where it is supposed to be. Where it's supposed to be going. However, that didn't go to plan. Oh well, doesn't matter too much. We can change where it's going to be compacting it next time. We'll see how it goes with that. It's just to the right of it. 58% uh, compacted though, despite putting all that on there. 283,000 158 litres. Pretty good, but you can see the time marks just here. So, yeah, I think, yeah, next time we'll have two tractors possibly going up and down here. It might be an issue. They might say they're in traffic, but I could sort of drive one, or I could drive one, and the other one could uh, be on course play. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.